For decades now, this go-kart track and nearby batting cages at Centennial Park have drawn people for fun and recreational activities. But now, some grand plans from the city to overhaul the park threaten to have them on their final lap. This has been a long part of the community for many, many years, and I understand that St. John Park is getting revamped, but it's a place to go just to kill an hour and have some fun. The buzz of activity along the go-kart track and the excitement seen on children's faces offers some indication of how precious this place has been to Etobicoke. Now the private owners on public land have been told it's time to hit the brakes to make room for other amenities as part of a new Centennial Park master plan. I don't understand the decision that was made by these people. I think it was um, one that did, did not incorporate all of the, uh, the, the best wishes of the people of the community. The batting cages and beach volleyball courts will soon make way for a larger baseball complex with four fields, while the small ski hills nearby transform into hiking and skating trails. Indigenous elements will also be incorporated into the outdoor spaces alongside new playgrounds. The decision on changes was made by City Council a couple of years ago, but now efforts to save the facilities, including a petition with more than 20,000 signatures, both online and in person. Their leases are expired, and so the question has come up and been put to the public, how do you best use the precious square inches of park that we have across the city and what is relevant in 2023? What are those priorities of citizens? And I think we've come up with a plan that offers a little bit of something to everybody. Those running the operations think more could be done to keep the motors running and the bat swinging a little longer. We knew eventually it would happen, but we didn't know it would happen right now or immediately or, or even like it where it's uh, be out in a couple months. Like that's kind of a, a, a bit of a blow. Yeah, and if we, if we had we get extended to 2034 like hey we're happy i think it's really sad this place has been around forever i work nearby i come here after lunch sometimes after work i think it's awful like this is a great thing for tobacco i mean you've got the golf course across the road and mini putt and you know the go-karting and baseball diamonds it's uh, it's it'd be a shame to lose it signs posted on the ground throughout encourage people to not only add their names to the petition but reach out to elected officials directly not only could this be lost money for the city, but also lost jobs for the dozens who work here throughout the course of the season. For those who do want to get here and enjoy the facilities, you have until November 30th to reach the finish line. Mark McAllister, City News.